as we were watching while we went in a break, we're watching President Biden give this live speech about he needs another $33 billion for the war in Ukraine. We are escalating. Uh, They were asking about, you know, if Russia escalates and he immediately says, we're ready for whatever they do. Um, You know, that's what the president should say. But, uh, you know, we've we've always we've always thought nuclear war could happen by mistake. We just didn't know the mistake would wear a shoe size 10 and be named Joe Biden. Um, We are in a very dangerous place. And I told Stu about something uh, what yesterday or today that I've been researching and um, this is not a Biden thing. This is an all presidents thing. It's called PEADS, P-E-A-D-S, P period, E period, A period, D period S. Um, And it stands for Presidential Emergency Authorization Directive, right? Close. Presidential Emergency Action Documents. Action Documents. Mm -hmm. So this was started under... um, Eisenhower. And if you remember, the the left went crazy on Donald Trump because of PEDS. Now, I, I want you to know, the left always self-diagnoses. They always self-diagnose. They accuse the other side of something because that's what they do. I'm convinced of it. Okay. Um, So they were having a problem with Donald Trump because in COVID, he was asked, you know, what is part of the emergency measure? And he said, I've got the president has a lot of emergency measures and a lot of things that they can do under emergency that people don't know about. That was an alarm bell for the left. What is he going to do? And they, while this wasn't well known or understood, they were talking about PEDS directives, okay? This is a directive that every president since Eisenhower, because of the threat of nuclear war, they set out and say, okay, Mr. President, these are the possible, probable um, uh, emergencies that may come your way that could disrupt a chain of government or um, uh, continuity of government. So we need to know, because if these things happen, they could happen so rapidly that we won't have a time to make recommendations and everything else. We just need to execute orders. So let's talk about nuclear war. What is your directive? And they go through the meeting and they do the directive and then they write that presidential directive up and then he doesn't sign it. So when an emergency happens, they just put that paper in front of him, say, this is the presidential directive for nuclear war, sir. We've already briefed you on it. He says, yes, he signs it, and it's law. Now, this, because it's an emergency, supersedes everything, including the Constitution. Now, let me show you. We, you can look this up. It is absolutely real. What is not real is we don't know what any of them have said. So if any of if anybody says, yeah, and this one says that, and, and uh, Trump was doing this, or Biden is doing that, you don't know. These are probably top 10 closely guarded secrets of any administration. They've never been really truly revealed on what they are. Pieces have come out from the distant past. And those are disturbing enough. For instance, there have been PEDS directives that have a list of like 50,000 Americans that if this emergency happens, they would need to be rounded up or silenced or whatever because they could be a danger to the continuity of government. Yeah, right? yeah. They, as you point out, they no one really knows what is in them. Some have been, some details have been... Uh, have leaked out over the years. So we know that there were 56 of these in effect as of 2018. That's up from 48 from a couple of decades earlier. This is from the Brennan Center, again, who's no conservative source no. here. Um, and, and it's a lot credible, of this, but it's left. Yes. Mm-hmm. And, and the reason why, of course, this was a big deal is, as you point out, 
Donald Trump. It was Donald Trump, right? They were upset about it because Donald Trump was going to use them. This is why so this is their analysis. This is why they were saying there's going to be a coup. There's going to be a coup. Mm -hmm. And we all said there's not going to be a coup. But they were thinking about peds that he could say there's trouble on the streets. Give me that presidential uh, emergency directive because that triggers it. And I'm going to be the president and we're suspending elections or whatever. Okay. So we know there were peds in past years that's, that authorized detention of alien enemies and other dangerous persons within the United States. Suspended the writ of habeas corpus by presidential order. Provided for various forms of martial law. Issued a general warrant. Just, I feel like we were specifically against general warrants, but issued a general warrant permitting search and seizure of persons and property. Established military areas as those created uh, during World War II. Suspended production of the Federal Register. Declared a state of war and authorized censorship of news reports. It's my understanding, I don't know this for sure, but I, it's my understanding that these peds, they don't uh, go out of fashion. So you can update them, you can add to them, but they're not revoked. So if that's there, that is part of the toolbox that already has been discussed. All the president has to do is sign it. This is terrifying. It can even allow, let's say... Um, the president and uh, vice president, let's use, you know, Ronald Reagan and, and George, uh, you know, George H.W. are out and uh, there's uh, an attack on them and it, it, it is a nuclear war. Let's say, um, you know, they're in the sum of all fears and it's Morgan Freeman and the vice president is also there and there's a nuclear strike and it kills the two. I can guarantee you there would be a peds on that, but a peds could include that if this happens, that triggers this peds, which says now the Department of Defense becomes an interim president, not the Speaker of the House. It can uh, it can this cut the government out. I constitutional, know. Glenn. It's what you know. It's what uh, um, Mike Lee was talking to me about, and I just my eyes glazed over this like four years ago. And I'm like, what are you even talking about? Um, and he was, you remember he was pushing the reigns act. Yes. Which is, which should be passed. Immediately. Should be passed because that exposes all of this. Um, and Among he, other things. Yeah. And he was like, ah, oh, Glenn, the reigns act, it's really important. I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Mike. And I just didn't understand it. Um, uh, peds I get. And he was absolutely right. The reigns act. Now, the left was all for the Reigns Act under Donald Trump. They are not for it now. Um, we, we should know about what's in these presidential directives because, you know, like I said, you know, um, I don't want to be clear on this. Back in January of 2019, we were seeing people welded into their homes in China. 2020, yeah. 2020. Mm -hmm. And it was horrific what was coming. And we never thought that you know, we would be all quarantined in our houses. We never thought that would happen. And we didn't know what we were facing. And I said at the time, my gut says that this is, is going to be bad, but it's not going to be the bubonic plague. It's not going to, you know, even maybe be the Spanish flu from 1918. However, what it does to our economy and the economy of the world is going to be horrific. So don't fear the virus, fear what's what will happen because of it. Um, not to minimize the deaths uh, of, of COVID, but as we see now, look at the ramifications we're still paying for. We're still paying. Did you see that Fauci yesterday or two days ago came out and said, we're out of the pandemic phase? Mm -hmm. Why did he retract that yesterday? Why did he retract that? I can guarantee you it's for some legal purpose. It is because somebody now could be sued because we're out of a pandemic if they, you know, do something or uh, because funds are still being spent that maybe shouldn't be spent because oh. it's, it's under the guise of pandemic or they're, they're in the just... middle of asking for more money to fight it right now. <laughs> yes, right. Right. Uh, you know, and he can't come out and say that. Right.
which is, by the way, is another reason he should never do another interview. Right. Just stop doing interviews. I, I mean, can you just... get off television for five seconds? Is that possible? <laughs> just to ten, 10 seconds, do something else. Work out. Take a walk. Play some golf. Do anything else other than be on television all the time. All right. Thank you for that. You feel passionately about that, though? A little bit. Yeah, okay.